Nearly 30 million Americans have some form of sleep apnea, gaps in breathing when you're asleep. Sometimes there is snoring, but sometimes it happens quietly. And tonight, for the first time, researchers have discovered a link between sleep apnea and cancer. Here's ABC's Dr. Richard Besser. This man is asleep and not breathing. It's been 59 seconds since his last breath. His body is desperate for air. Finally, one minute, eight seconds later, he breathes, completely unaware what was happening. It's classic obstructive sleep apnea, where throat muscles collapse in on themselves and seal the airway. We know apnea can lead to heart disease and stroke, that erratic breathing at night raising your blood pressure. But today's surprising news, if you have sleep apnea, you may be five times as likely to die from cancer of any kind. Dr. Javier Nieto's Wisconsin sleep study followed 1,500 people for 25 years. What was striking was this, uh, this relationship appears to be very strong. They suspect that the lack of oxygen makes your body grow more tiny blood vessels, which feed all your cells, including any cancer cells. Sleep apnea is a serious problem that needs to be treated if you have it. Um, and this is just one more reason to worry about it. And one more reason to take action. Well, Rich, as we said, sometimes snoring is a red flag about right. apnea, but what if it's silent? How on earth do you know? Well, yeah, I mean, if you sleep alone or you don't snore, look for your daytime symptoms. That can be dry mouth, that can be headache, and it can be daytime exhaustion. If you have those, get it checked right away. But this is so frightening. We knew before about possible heart problems, now cancer too. Is there right. anything that isn't too uncomfortable that can prevent it? Yeah, I mean, there are things you can do and they all take work. The first one, try and lose weight. That can make it go away for many people. The second is a mask you can wear with a breathing machine called CPAP. Very difficult for many people to tolerate that at night, but it, but it works well. And then the last are nose plugs with a one-way valve. That can work in people with mild apnea to keep their airways open. All right. Really a new alarm tonight about sleep apnea. Thanks, Rich.